So, what if the next big thing from Tesla isn't really a car at all? We've all been hearing the whispers and the rumors talk of a more affordable Tesla, something often called the Model 2 or the $25,000 car. But I think we might be focusing on the wrong part of the story. The real question isn't just if Tesla can build a cheaper electric vehicle. The much bigger, more disruptive question is this. What happens when a company known for rewriting the rules decides to build a product designed not just to be driven, but to fundamentally change how we move, own, and interact with vehicles altogether. This isn't just about adding a new model to the lineup, it's about a potential shift in the entire automotive landscape. The conversation has been dominated by the price tag, and for good reason. Making electric vehicles accessible to the masses has always been the final frontier for widespread adoption. But looking at Tesla's history, from the original Roadster to the Cybertruck, they've never just built a car to compete with what's already out there. They build products that force the industry to react products that are platforms for future technology. So when we hear about their next generation vehicle, codenamed Project Redwood, we need to look past the sticker price and see the bigger picture. We're talking about a vehicle that could be the catalyst for a fully autonomous ride hailing network, a true robo taxi. Think about it. The success of the Model 3 and Model Y proved that Tesla could scale production and deliver a compelling product that people actually wanted to buy. They cracked the code on performance, range, and building a design desirable brand. But those cars, for all their innovation, still follow a relatively traditional ownership model. You buy it, you drive it, you park it. Project Redwood looks to be something different. It's being engineered from the ground up with a completely new philosophy, one that prioritizes cost, efficiency, and autonomy above all else. This vehicle is being designed to be an asset that works for you, not just a possession that sits in your garage. This is where the story gets really interesting. The implications of a successful Project Redwood Redwood go far beyond just putting more EVs on the road. It challenges the very idea of car ownership for millions of people. If a Tesla can drive itself, pick you up, and drop you off for a fraction of the cost of current ride-sharing services, why would you even need to own a car in a dense urban environment? This is the core of Elon Musk's master plan, part 2 and part 3. The goal isn't just to sell cars, the goal is to provide autonomous transport as a service, and Project Redwood is the key that could finally unlock that vision on a massive scale. So, let's break down what we actually know about Project Redwood. This isn't just some fan-made rumor. The name first surfaced in a Reuters report in early 2024, citing sources familiar with Tesla's plans. According to the report, Tesla sent out requests for quotation to its suppliers for a new compact crossover model, internally referred to as Redwood. This is a standard industry practice that signals a project is moving from the concept phase and pre-production planning. It's the first real tangible evidence that the long-promised affordable Tesla Tesla is finally taking shape and moving toward an actual production timeline. The idea for this vehicle has been floating around for a long time, evolving from what everyone informally called the Model 2. During Tesla's 2020 Battery Day event, Elon Musk first planted the seed, stating a goal to produce a compelling $25,000 electric car within about three years. Of course, timelines in the tech and auto industries have a way of stretching out, but the commitment was made, setting a clear target that has guided much of Tesla's subsequent battery and manufacturing research. The goal wasn't just to make a smaller Model 3, it was to re-engineer the entire process to achieve a dramatic cost reduction that competitors would find nearly impossible to match. Now, fast forward to Tesla's earnings calls and investor days throughout 2023 and 2024. The language has been consistent. On the fourth quarter 2023 earnings call, Musk confirmed that the next generation vehicle is deep in development and that it would be profound in its manufacturing manufacturing technology. He even tempered expectations for a rapid launch, noting the immense challenge of ramping up a completely new production system. This isn't just talk, it's a clear signal to investors in the industry that this project is a top priority, representing the next major chapter for the company after the Cybertruck. The focus is squarely on affordability and a revolutionary production method. This project is a direct response to a gap in the market that Tesla itself helped create. While the Model 3 and Model Y have been wildly successful, their price points still put them out of reach for a huge portion of global car buyers. With an average new car price in the United States hovering well above $45,000, a $25,000 EV from a brand like Tesla would be a game changer. It's the move that takes electric vehicles from a premium or early adopter product to a true mass market default. 
Project Redwood is the manifestation of that strategy, designed to be the vehicle that allows Tesla to reach its ambitious goal of selling 20 million vehicles per year by 2030. When you're trying to build a $25,000 EV that's still a Tesla, you can't just shrink your existing tech, you have to reinvent it. And that's exactly what the plan seems to be for Project Redwood. The foundation of this new vehicle will be a completely new next-generation platform. During Tesla's 2023 Investor Day, the company explicitly stated its goal to cut manufacturing costs by 50% compared to the Model 3 and the Model Y platform. This isn't an incremental improvement, it's a radical overhaul of how the car is designed and assembled, a concept they've called the unboxed process. A huge piece of the cost-saving puzzle is the battery. You can't hit that magic $25,000 price point with today's expensive nickel-based battery packs. This is where Tesla's investment in lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, batteries becomes critical. LFP is cheaper. LFP is more stable. LFP doesn't rely on cobalt. We're already seeing LFP packs in the standard range Model 3. For Redwood, Tesla is expected to push this technology even further. They'll likely use a more advanced, higher density version of LFP or explore other chemistries like sodium ion for certain markets, all in the pursuit of driving down the single most expensive component of an EV. Then there's the brain of the car. Elon Musk has been very clear that the future of Tesla is as much a software company as it is a hardware company. Project Redwood will undoubtedly run on a new generation of Tesla's hardware, potentially Hardware 5, designed for maximum efficiency and and processing power for autonomous driving. The key here is cost optimization. The system will be engineered to deliver the full capabilities needed for full self-driving, but at a fraction of the cost of previous hardware suites. This is crucial because the Robotaxi vision only works if the autonomous hardware is cheap enough to install in every single vehicle that rolls off the line. Ultimately, the technology inside Project Redwood is a story of integration and simplification. By designing the battery pack as a structural component of the car's frame, they eliminate redundant parts, reduce weight, and simplify the assembly line. By moving to a 48-volt architecture, as they did with the Cybertruck, they can use thinner, lighter wiring throughout the vehicle, saving on copper costs and assembly complexity. Every single component is being re-evaluated not just for its function, but for its impact on the total cost and speed of manufacturing. It's a holistic approach to engineering that few legacy automakers are equipped to replicate. The secret sauce for Project Redwood isn't just its design or its battery, it's really how it will be built. Tesla is pioneering the unbox process, a complete departure from the moving assembly line. Instead of a single body in white moving down a line, the unbox method builds separate parallel sub-assemblies. Front, rear, sides, floor, including the structural battery pack, all sections are fully outfitted simultaneously, then brought together for final assembly in one step. Radically more efficient, more people and robots, without getting in each other's way. Reduce manufacturing footprint by over 40%, increase production density. Giga casting is the building block. Model Y uses one massive rear cast. That replaced 70 stamped and welded parts. This cuts complexity, weight, and production time. For Redwood, Tesla will push Giga casting further. Investor day goal, single piece front casting, single piece rear casting, structural battery pack, forming the underbody, simplifies the body shop, fewer robots, fewer steps, faster move from raw material to chassis. This vertical integration is Tesla's competitive moat legacy. Automakers will struggle to cross it. Implications for speed and scale are staggering. Elon Musk aims for an unprecedented production range. Ramp. Unboxed Process Plus, Extreme Giga Casting is the key to speed. Simplify vehicle and process to de-risk ramp. Remember the production hell of the Model 3. If successful, cheaper car millions built faster with higher margins. A $25,000 Tesla wouldn't just be another option for car buyers. It would fundamentally reshape the entire market. Right now, the biggest barrier to EV adoption for the average person is the upfront cost. While the total cost of ownership for an EV is often lower, that initial sticker price is a major major psychological and financial hurdle. Project Redwood is designed to smash that barrier. By offering a vehicle at or below the price of popular gasoline-powered cars, Toyota Corolla Honda Civic Tesla would make the electric option the default logical choice for a massive new segment of the population. This move poses an existential threat to legacy automakers. Ford, GM, Volkswagen. They are trying to compete with Tesla's premium models while also managing the slow decline of their internal combustion engine business. Now imagine they have to compete with a Tesla
Tesla that costs less than their most popular gas cars. It's a nightmare scenario for them. Cost structures, dealer networks, manufacturing processes are not designed to compete on this level, giving Tesla a massive first mover advantage in the affordable EV space. The competitive pressure isn't just from the West, it's also a strategic move against the rising tide of Chinese EV makers. Buaidi Neo Xpeng, Buaidi's Seagull, for instance, sells for under $12,000 in China. As these companies look to expand globally, Europe, Southeast Asia, North America Project Redwood is Tesla's answer. A globally focused vehicle designed for high volume production and low cost, ensuring they aren't undercut by new aggressive competitors. Beyond just sales, this vehicle is the key to unlocking the robotaxi network. Tesla has been clear that every car it builds is a potential node in a future autonomous ride hailing service. A lower cost vehicle dramatically improves the economics of such a network. The cheaper the car, the less revenue it needs to generate to be profitable, allowing Tesla to offer rides at a price point that could seriously disrupt not only Uber Lyft but also public transportation. This is the end game, transitioning from a company that sells cars to a company that sells autonomous miles, and Project Redwood is the vehicle that makes the math work. So, the big question is, when can we actually expect to see Project Redwood on the roads? Based on the latest reports and company statements, the timeline is becoming clearer. The initial Reuters report suggested production could begin in mid-2025. During the Q4 2023 earnings call, Elon Musk confirmed production is slated to start at Gigafactory Texas first, then expand to other factories including the upcoming Gigafactory in Mexico. He cautioned ramping a new manufacturing process is always challenging, so production might start in late 2025, but volume production likely won't hit until well into 2026. When it arrives, what can we expect it to look like? All signs point to a compact vehicle, likely a crossover, or a hatchback, to maximize appeal in global markets, especially Europe and Asia. The design will almost certainly be minimalist, even more so than the Model 3. Expect a single screen interface, no instrument cluster, and a focus on functional durable materials. Features will be software defined, pushed via over the air updates, a compelling base model with powerful capabilities like full self-driving available as an upgrade. The competitive landscape is heating up fast. Legacy automakers aren't standing still. GM has its Equinox EV. Ford is working on next-gen lower-cost EV platforms. Volkswagen is doing the same. But these companies are still burdened by existing factories and dealer networks. The more immediate threat comes from Chinese automakers. BYD is already the world's largest EV producer by volume, and their rapid expansion into international markets is a serious challenge. Project Redwood is Tesla's strategic counter move, affordability plus brand and tech. This vehicle is central to Tesla's long-term vision, as in Master Plan Part 3. Tesla aims for 20 million vehicles per year by 2030, which is impossible with just the premium Model S or the Model X, or the mid-range Model 3, or the Model Y, or the Cybertruck. They need a high-volume, mass-market car to hit that scale. Project Redwood is that car, the final piece of the puzzle. It enables a broader transition to sustainable energy, and lays the foundation for the autonomous future they've promised. The impact of a vehicle like the one promised by Project Redwood extends far beyond the person who buys it, or, more accurately, the person who uses it. If Tesla successfully launches a low-cost, fully autonomous vehicle, it could trigger one of the most significant shifts in urban mobility since the invention of the car itself. The primary target for disruption is the ride-sharing industry, companies like Uber and Lyft. A Tesla robo-taxi, with no driver to pay, could offer rides for a fraction of the current cost. This wouldn't just be a cheaper alternative, it would fundamentally change how we think about getting around. Imagine summoning a ride for a cost that is competitive with, or even cheaper than, taking the bus or subway. This could lead to a dramatic decline in the use of public transportation systems, especially in cities that are already struggling with funding and ridership. Urban planners and local governments would have to completely rethink their infrastructure strategies. Do you invest in new light rail lines or do you partner with autonomous fleets to provide last mile transportation solutions for your citizens? The entire model of public transit is on the table. The concept of car ownership itself would also be challenged, particularly for people living in cities. Today, a personal car is a necessity for many, but it's also a depreciating asset that sits unused for more than 95% of the time. An autonomous network offers a compelling alternative. All the convenience of a personal car, with none of the 
hassle of parking insurance maintenance or the high upfront cost. For a whole generation, owning a car might become a choice or a hobby, not a requirement for mobility. This would have massive ripple effects on related industries, from insurance companies to auto repair shops to parking garage operators. Ultimately, Project Redwood represents the convergence of Tesla's two biggest goals, accelerating the transition to sustainable energy and delivering full autonomy. The vehicle itself is the hardware that makes EVs accessible to the masses, but its true long-term purpose is to be the vessel for Tesla's software, the autonomous driving AI that turns the car from a product you own into a service you use. This is the secret that will shock the industry. It's not just a cheaper car, it's the key to a completely new transportation ecosystem, and its arrival will mark the beginning of a profound transformation in how we live, work, and move.